bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Uh, by the special grace of God, I want you to open your Bible to the book of Revelations. Revelations chapter. Uh, Sister Fume, I will want you, if where you are is not, uh, if where you are is not noisy, I will want you to read with me. So Sister Fume, I'm talking to Sister Fume. If where you are is not noisy, I want you to read the scripture with me. Open your Bible to uh, Revelation chapter 20. Okay. Yeah. You can read the, the book of, uh, start from 20 verse 11 to 15. Revelation chapter 20. To 15. Okay. Revelation 20, 11 to 15. 11 to 15. 15 yeah. I read. And yeah. I saw a great white throne. Yeah. And in the start on heat, from whose face the heads and the heaven fled away. And there was and there was found no place for them, 12. And I saw the dead, small and great. Now, wait, wait, the place. If you look at what is in that place, he's talking about the judgment day. He's talking about the judgment day. So that's why he said he saw the great and the small dead people standing before the Lord God Almighty to receive their judgment. We want you to forget our topic is hell fire. What is hell fire? We are not, we are not referring to heaven now. We want to know hell. What is hell fire? Yes, continue, ma. Small, and I Verse saw 12. the dead, small and great, 12, stand before God, and the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged out of those things which were written in the books, according in to the their books. works. Yes, continue. 13. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it. And death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged. Which in that place. Listen to what that text said. And the sea gave up, and the sea gave up the dead, and the sea gave up the dead, which made it, and the dead, and deliver all which were in death, in them. And they were judged every man according to his work. Now, he said, The sea gave up the dead one, which we eat. It means that there are some particular dead that is in air, in, is in the sea. There's a particular dead that is in the sea. I will go to that area. I'm coming. And death and hell. And death and hell. So they are, they are coming now and can help deliver up the dead, dead which were in them. So it means that they are dead that is in with the dead himself. And there are some dead that also with in, in, in hell. So I want you all to listen very well so that you can understand what the Bible is saying here. No, verse 14. Verse 14. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the yeah. second age. Death. Uh -uh. Wait, wait, wait. Understand what the Bible is saying here. And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. fire. <laughs> when, the, when we are preaching, we say, Repent or else we go to the pit, uh, to, to air fire. Now, air fire himself now, air himself now, they threw him into fire. 
don't that thing look somehow convincing to you? Like confused. Like what is going on here? What is the Bible trying to say? I will explain to you. Yeah, continue. 15. And whosoever but, was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Now, the Bible says, whosoever whose his name is not written in the book of life, understand what it means to be whosoever. It might be a pastor, it might be a reverend, it might be a teacher, it might be a member, you, are, you might be a man, you might be a woman, you might be a girl, you might be a boy, whosoever. He said, whosoever. Whosoever, who his name is not in the book of life, was cast into the lake of fire. Was cast into the lake of fire. Was cast into the lake of fire. Was cast there into the lake of fire. Now, listen to me very well. People have been thinking in their hearts that what is hell all about? Is all about fire? Is it all about just punishment? When I go to hell, so it means I will be born in hell forever? No, listen to me. If any man enter hell, you cannot be born in there forever. I know that statement might look somewhat confusing. That what is the man of God trying to say? Yeah. The place God has prepared for every sinner who die is not hell. It is called the lake of fire. Hell is a minor punishment. <laughs> now, if you, if you hear that uh, people say they are going to hell, they are doing this, the fire there is so powerful, darkness everywhere is so critical, it is just as a small punishment. Hell fire is a place where they call a training ground. It's a place where they call a training ground for every man. A training ground from every man. So, get inside. Get inside. It's a mm -hmm. training ground for every man. Now, training, I mean training, you might not understand that how can FR be a training ground? The meaning of that training grant, it means that it's a place of practical. Let me say a theory to the practical. Those who are in air now, they are living in agony. If I mean agony, a serious agony. Believe me that that is where they are going to stay. They don't know that that agony they are facing right now is just like 2% hundred. <sighs> That is why people, we are shouting unto you people to give their life to Jesus. Because ordinary air fire, if they throw ordinary goat to air fire, you'll be begging for that goat. You'll be begging God to go for God to leave that goat. I used to use goat, for example, because goat is an animal and we used to kill goat. We bought goat and we hit them. We bought chicken, we kill chicken, we burn it, we eat them. But the truth is this, when you are eating it, it's fine. But when they put gold into air in your face, you're able to be pain passing through, just an animal, not a human being. You will feel the pain inside you that you will be begging God, please leave this gold. And in fact, leave, let him go, please. I'm begging you, let him go. That is how terrible air fire is. Air fire is a place of tears, but the tears, they are, just, you know, when uh, Pastor Ezekiel was trying to explain, he was talking about how he was, he was taken to hell. He, get to his seat. he said, uh, oil began to come out of his body. The truth is that Elphar is, is lesser, let me say, is, uh, is, is still lesser than what is in a lake of fire. When you are in air, before you get to air fire yourself, when they see the part, when you stand before, the, no man stand before judgment throw when they die. In nakedness, they will all wear the clothes they wear when they died. I get, me, I get what I'm saying now. Now, the, you, you said the Bible is saying that the naked you came, naked you will go. Yeah, the naked you will go. But when you are standing before God Almighty, I'm not talking about the internal judgment, 
according to the testimony of people who died and uh, were able to stand before the judgment throne, nobody will wear your naked before God. The clue you wear to die is that clue that will appear to you in the spirit. In that spirit. Now, but when you collect your judgment, you cannot enter heaven with that same cloth. Neither can you enter air, enter air with that same cloth. The destination you are going to is going to be different. If you are going to enter heaven, that cloth will change. You will be given a white cloth, a, a white garment cloth, which is heavenly true. Now, and when you are going to hell, you are going there in nakedness. Listen to me very well. I know you might not understand very well, but I know also I have prayed for you that you will understand the details I am trying to tell you now. Air fire is a place whereby uh, is a place whereby you don't wear your clothes. You will feel like, you see, let's listen to me. You might be thinking of some things. Now, there are some, there's a thought that came to me when I was still young in faith. And the thought is, if I died, I pray it, it will not happen to me that if people died, if people died and they go to hell, that at least they will be there for some why. They, they, are, they are not going to be the person, you know. I used to think that whenever I die, that it is not going to be me that will be in hell. That because this physical flesh that is risen now is still Peter, that my spirit will be the one to be suffering, that me myself, I will be in, in the ground dying. I mean, in the, in the ground, ready buried. It is not true. The one Peter that is speaking to you now is not the, even the original Peter. Listen to me very well. Me that is speaking to you now, I'm not the original Peter. I'm just like a, uh, I'm just like an interpreter. Listen, I know you might not understand, but I'm going so deep today, this morning, so you can understand very well. And uh, I want you to listen very well. The Peter who is talking to you right now is not even the original Peter. The original Peter is inside me. The original Peter is the one with me. The original Peter is the one bringing the, the talk out, it, the talk. And the fake Peter is the one that is saying it out. Now, the one that is thinking inside is the original Peter. The one that is talking now is the fake Peter. The reason I say it's the fake Peter is because this flesh is going to go with the hell. It's going to be buried. And the original Peter is inside me, you, the soul. That is why God is saying that let all souls, he said all souls are mad. God not, he does not have any dealing with the body. God does not have any dealing with the body. He only has dealing with the soul. He wants your soul to repent. He said, God is not designed that any man should die, but every man should come and repent. That man they are talking, it's not the physical man you are saying. It's a spiritual man. It's a spirit man you are talking about. And that spirit man is more sensitive than the one that is here. It's more sensitive. You will know what you are doing. Because now physically now, you might be saying, ah, but it's not me. Now, Sister Fumi that is looking at me now, it's just, when you read the book, this body will not understand until that brain tell him what it means. That brain that is telling you what it means is that soul that is coming it out. The interpretation. If somebody beat you now, if that is why you see that if somebody if somebody is dead, when they, they beat you when you are dead, you will not feel any pain because the original Peter is not there. This body cannot feel anything. It cannot feel anything until the soul signal to it, until there's cause something sensitive, sensitive, sensitive organ. Now, this sensitive organ is inside your brain. If your brain is dead, this your flesh will not pain you. If your brain is dead, if everything inside you is dead, this your body will not, you will not feel anything. It's because your mentality is there. That is why you are able to feel it. That's why you are able to feel that somebody is, somebody is beating you, somebody, somebody is shooking you with uh, something. So it's because your mentality is there. Now, if your mentality has run out, you are not yourself anymore, you, maybe you are something happened to you. You are you are out of conscience. You will not understand what is happening to this flesh. Even though they they burn you with fire, you will not even feel it because the flesh, the soul is not there. That is why when you sleep in the night and uh, maybe they, they do something to you, you are not aware. Sometimes because uh, it is because whenever you see a child shout, "Mommy," and you are able to wake up, it's because your soul was still in you, was still around you. So is that so that he hear that voice, "Mommy"? That make the body to be to 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 uh to wake up. Now that's so. 
if that soul is not there in you, you will not understand the deep thinking things that is happening into this physical thing. The soul we are talking about is the original painful thing. That's so that how that feels so feels when it's in the spirit. I will explain it to you. You see, the issue of talking about hellfire is a deep and a very deep thing that you yourself, you have to understand what it means when they say hellfire. It's a place that you don't need to go at all. At all. You don't even need to go at all. There's one prayer I used to pray to God is that I don't want to go to hell for one reason. God, what happened is, for example, now, for example, I used to hear the voice of people who are in hell. I know that this word might look somehow convincing to you, but just listen to me. Sometimes when I sleep in the night, the voice of people who are in hell might wake me up. I will start feeling shaking. I'll be shaking. The reason why I, I'm, the Lord makes me to be hearing the voice of people who are in hell is because he's telling me that, my, that I am not, you know, I have not do anything in the area of gospel. Telling me that I should preach more. I should preach more. I should, I should preach more. That's so those are needed in heaven. So people who are in hell, sometimes when I hear the voice of people who are in hell, it, it, it gives me a lot, a lot that, Peter, you need to work hard. You need to work hard. People who are more, not, must not go to hell again. And you know something now. Listen to me very, 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 very well. The body soul now is not, he has, he does not have his power of, the power of his own in the health. The earth is personally made up of a physical atmosphere whereby it is only this flesh that can manifest there. The souls and the spirit might not be able to manifest in the era of the spirit because of uh, because they don't understand the, 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 the soul cannot be seen. Now, if this earth you are now, it is meant for physical things, it's not meant for spiritual things. But when you die, that body, the body you are talking now, will be, be useless. The body will be completely useless. It is the source and the spirit which will be at halal. They will be so sensitive than the, they will be so real than the physical one now. As I'm talking to you now, I'm not that real because it is what that source is telling me that I'm telling you now. So I'm just like an interpreter. And you understand very, somewhere, something very well that the preacher, for example, now if I'm interpreting for somebody, I cannot be so real like the person who is talking to me. Now, if somebody is preaching and I'm trying to interpret, the person who is preaching is the one that is free. I'm the interpreter. I'm just only saying what the person who is preaching is saying. That is exactly what is happening right now. I am only telling you what the flesh, uh, what the source is telling me. So this flesh is not that real. You are, what you are seeing in the, in the world right now is not real. The car you have is not real. The house you have is not real. The children you have is not real. They are not real. Because they are physical, something they are not real. The original thing that is real is the things of the spirit. That is why anything that must happen to man must happen in the spirit first. Must first happen in the spirit first before it comes to manifestations of the in the of the flesh. So before you can be attacked physically, before you can fall into fornication, if you are in the spirit very well, you see that probably you might have, have intercourse in the dream. Then physically, you will not say that you fall into fornication. So it's because of things that must happen to a man must first happen in the in the in, in the spirit realm. It was all be accomplished in the spirit realm. That's why uh, uh, the John the Baptist in the book of James chapter in the book of John chapter three was saying something. He said, "No man can receive anything except it is being given from heaven." If you understand that statement, I know you might what does that statement mean. It has a great thing. This is one of the things that I used to, I used to, I used to collect many things from, I used to receive many things from God. When I used to quotation in prayer, when I look unto heaven and I said, Lord, Lord, I know that if truly you wanted to give, if you give it to me, I will receive physically. Lord, give it to me so that I can receive it physically. Anytime I pray that prayers and I see that Lord give it to me so that I can receive it physically. My dear brother, that, that day will not run out. That my request will be given to me. That day will not run out. Because when you understand what you are saying, your prayer will be, will be answered. But when you are praying and you don't understand what you are saying, your prayer will be delayed. It will be so much delayed. So let me go back to what I'm saying. So anything that will happen, everything that is real happened in the spirit realm. Now, listen to me very well, very well, very well, very well. When Imad died, when Imad died, 
this is what happened to him. He did not really remember what is happening in the in the uh, in the earth again. He will not remember his family for that moment because it's like he's coming into reality. The soul is coming out and it's is is taking is coming out. It's not just as if you are just born into a world. So that soul has not been free for a long time. So it's just been set free. And do you like, I want you to listen to these things. The soul that is inside you is willingly to go out anytime. It's not willingly to stay in this flesh. The soul that is inside you is suffering this flesh. I know this is another topic entirely, but let me just bring in and under and teach you what it means. The soul that inside you is willingly to die. I mean, it's willingly to come out. It's willingly that this flesh to die so that it can come out. There's a clip that clip the soul inside your body. There's a clip that clip it, that is inconvenience, is inconveniencing, is, is, is an inconvenience to the, to the soul. It's inconvenience to the soul himself. So he really, the desire of the soul is he wanted the flesh to die so that it can be free. Do you know that how you see this flesh is being controlled now because of the flesh, because of the flesh here? I mean, this source is being controlled because of the flesh. Whenever is whenever this flesh sin, whenever this flesh sin, the soul will be affected, the spirit will be affected. Meanwhile, the flesh himself is not the one that sin it, it is the soul that sin it. So I know that the things of the spirit might not be somehow understandable very well for you but anyway i will just say it the way i know i can say it i will just i will break it the way i know i can break it so that you can understand very very well now as i'm talking now when a man died and you are and that man is sent to hell number one that happened is that the reoccurrence of what has happened on earth will start coming we will start remembering the messages he has had we start remembering the, le the life he has lived. It's just as if when a man is living now. For example, as you are now, when you are going, you don't remember what you have dreamed about until something happens or you just wake up and you start remembering. The way you remember your dream is the same way the, the soul will remember his days on head. It will just be as if they are dream. That's why you have to be very careful in the world you are now. The world you are now is just as if you are in the dream realm now. You are in the dream realm. The world you are now is as if you are in the dream realm now. So that is why you have to play your play where you have to play your part where in the dream realm you are now. So that your you, your original you will not suffer in the real world. This is not the real world, this is just a fake world. That is why they call this world a market. A market. This is not your own, this is not the real world. You are just passing by. It's just like as if you are dreaming. It just that's why God said that. He said, a 1,000 years is just like a day in the eyes of God. And that's the truth. Even though you live like up to 1,000 years, God will be seeing you that you have dreamed a whole day, a whole day. To God, you are dreaming for a whole day. But the dream you are dreaming on head now, it matters to God because God wants to see you dream well. He wants your dream to be in accordance to his will. If you're dreaming on head, it's not in accordance to the will of God, you are going to hell straight away. So as I'm talking to you now, both of you, you and I are dreaming. You and I are dreaming. So when it gets to, please call. So when you get to the original war, you are able to get to the original war the dreaming will now start to become the what the, your life on earth will now start becoming a dream there. So your original man, the original Peter, will now start to remember what is going on on earth, what you have done. We start to remember it. it will not become it will not it will not look as if they are watching feet. That eh, so this is what I have done. Hey, oh my God, what have I done? So this is what I have done. It will not look like that. Now, what is hellfire? And who is hell? Listen to me very well. What is hell? And who is hell? Hell is a demon. Listen to me very well. I know many of you, my mind have been thinking that hellfire 
he said this and that, he said this and that. That is why I confirm it in the Bible, because I know when these things get to social media, some people are so intelligent that they will be thinking that you must have to prove it from the Bible. That's why I have to prove it first. Revelation chapter 20, verses 13, 14. Revelation is like a human being. It's not a human, it's not a human being, it's not a flesh man. It's a spirit, it's like a man. I'm sorry, I mean hell fire, sorry. Hell is like a man. Hell is like a man. Hell is like a man. Listen to me very well. When you, you have been hearing about hell fire, hell fire, hell fire, hell fire. Hell is like a man. Hell has eyes. Hell fire. You see that fire there? Hell is not the issue, but the fire inside is the issue. Let me explain it to you. Hell is like one of the, the agent God himself created for the punishment of the people. Hell is like one of the agents the uh, God created for the punishment of the people. For the punishment of the people. Punishment of the people. Hell is also like a demon. This hell as a oh is a personality. This hell has a eyes, he has a nose. He has mouth, he has head, he has ear, he has hand, he has leg, he has foot, he has everything a man has. I might not be able to tell you maybe he has sexual organ. I don't know about that one. But I'm so sure about what I'm saying. Whether he has sexual organ or you don't have, I don't know about that one. But I'm so, I'm so, I, I understand what I'm saying. Uh, what I'm teaching you now is not about the research. I do, it's not about I research and I start teaching you. No, I'm teaching you what is happening. I'm teaching you from the spirit of God. It's a revelation and messages about hell. Hell has eyes, he has mouth, he has everything that a man has. The mouth of hell is the door in. You see, when a man gets to hell, that hell fire has a mouth. When you get to hell, where there is a gate that something they call the gate of hell. That gate of hell is the mouth of hell, and that hell used to walk, it used to move, but it don't used to go out. For example, hell is not a traveler. He stay one place. He lie down one place. Sometimes you can just shout. Oh. You can just move like that. Oh. You just lie down one place. And do you know that this hell, millions of people are in him? This hell himself is a defied demon. God created him for destruction. That is what God created him for, for total destruction. After the hell himself has finished the assignment God has created him for, God himself will put him in hellfire again. But we will put him into fire again. Now, I want you to understand something. If God is saying that he's going to put fire into fire, you know, you must understand that that fire you wanted to put fire into fire, that fire must be a greater fire that is, as, uh, let me say, expensive fire. <laughs> so expensive. I will describe, I do no man is able to describe how lake of eyes look like, but I will, I will, I will, I will try my possible best to just analyze what I can analyze. You know, I, I just, what I can explain, how it looks like, how lake of eyes looks like too. I will just try my best to explain deep. Air fire looks like when, when somebody enter air, you will not know there's a part of body, it's a part of body there. Yeah. It's a part of a, it's like a human, it's a, like a human being, having, uh, having this or that. You just enter there, you just enter a fire. Air fire is a dark place, very dark, that the darkness 
in air. I'm talking about air now. That darkness, no man has ever gotten that air, uh, fire, uh, that darkness before. No edge, no darkness. Go and look for a thick darkness you will not see in this world. The darkness, the darkness in hell is so thick that, oh God, I don't know how to say it. It's so thick that if you put, if you put uh, thousands of light in a particular place when the, light, the darkness is, that light will be covered with the darkness. It will not light at all. You know that when you are going, that you might see a street light or you might see a Florence, Flo, uh, Flo, 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 it's a Florence, uh, that light, I mean, the light, the device, uh, strong light that shines. And when that floor, floor, uh, scent, floor scent shines, most everywhere will be so light as if you cannot even look at that floor scent with your eyes. Because if you look at it, your eyes will be blind. If you bring thousands of floor into hell, the dark of hell will cover that floor scent, that it will keep the lightness. Do you remember that the Bible says something in the book of John chapter one, that the light lighted and the dark cannot come in. Light there, the darkness there comprehend light there in hell, except the light of the Holy One, which is God Almighty, the powerful light. That is what can light there and shine there. The darkness in air is so thick now, in darkness, in hell, how does man face in hell? Number one, when body enter hell, you'll be feeling like hungry. The way you, the way you used to feel hungry here, you'll be feeling the same way. But your hungry your, your, your hungry will be more higher than the one you are feeling here. So I want you to imagine the kind of suffering in hellfire. You'll be feeling the kind of hunger that, oh God, in fact, You'll be feeling seriously angry. Very, I mean, hungry. I mean, hungry, very hungry. The hunger will be so great and so serious. In, uh, now, I don't know if you have gotten to break tree before. If you look at those who are break, baking bread, I'm looking about local bread is baking, not like the, the American one or the, uh, the foreign one. They look at in Nigeria or in Africa. You see that they will enter where the fire is. They might not be enter hell. But they will enter where the fire is. And when they enter where the fire is, by the time they walk for a meantime, they used to buy pure water for them outside. When a man came out of that place of walking, you will see that he'll be drinking pure water, drinking it. A man can drink up to 10 sachets to 15 sachets of pure water. Where he's just coming out, he will just be drinking it, drinking it. The water in God will be dry up. So what to do with drinking this seriously? Before you go back to that work again and come back again. Now, the issue of air is different. Physical fire is the one that is burning in, or that the heat is the one that eats it, that makes him to drink to that essence. Heat in air is so powerful. Oh my God. The heat is in air is so powerful that if I'm if you are in, let me say, let me use idea for example. I don't understand, but I will use hours to calculate. I am in those say, for example, if I go to, no, let me say I'm in Lagos. From Lagos to Abuja is about, I'm coming, five, about nine hours. From Lagos to Abuja is about nine hours or nine hours plus, or even 10 hours on the car is moving. I'm talking about car. Now, if somebody is in Lagos and the fire of hell is in Akure or in Abuja, the heat alone will be, will be, will be, at, will be, at, you will be feeling the heat. Look, look at me. I said nine hours running more. I'm not talking about you striking with your leg. No. I'm talking about you walking with your, I mean, you entering a car, nine hours. So now you are in Lagos and some, and the fire is in Abuja. The heat of that fire will be eating you. So you might not be able to burn down and die there, but you'll be feeling the pain that you'll be crying. You'll be seriously crying. That is how it 
it led hellfire is. Hellfire is so it now. Talk about they bringing you into that hell. You are now in that hell, burning inside the fire. So how, how will this going to be? It's going to be very, very high. Very, very, very high. The, the pains will be so serious that you will not be able to, you know, to live it. You, you, you cannot live. You cannot breathe there. That is why God, Jesus Christ, was using the. Uh, it was using Abraham, as and uh, it was using uh, uh, Lazarus and the rich man in the Bible as an example that the rich man was asking for a drop of water. You, as I'm talking to you, as a physical person as you are now, just ordinary, you are just feeling like taxi. If I put hand in water and a drop of water in my hand, can it satisfy you? It cannot satisfy you. Just talking about you physically, physically hungry. Can it drop like this? You put your hand like this into a water and let just drop a water from your hand. Drop to your tongue. But can, can it satisfy you? No. But this same, the man we are talking about in the Bible, the Bible said that the rich man was asking for just a drop of water, a drop. So you, you should look at the effect of thirsting the man was. If that drop can just enter in, it will be satisfied. Just that, yeah, you know, when somebody's taxi to an extent that you are looking for a, a, a urine to drink, you do evil sin. You are looking for a water that is contaminated with, with shit, just for you to just drink it like this. You, are, you don't care about the cheat inside. You don't care about the, 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 the market inside that water. You just wanted to drink that bacteria like that, just to satisfy your law, your, 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 uh, your tax for water. I want you to understand. I want you to feel the pains and, the, and that, that kind of uh, the wanting of that thing. That's how air is. You'll be feeling like just after just water, just a drop, a drop, just a, they are not asking for a, a, a cup of water. You are not saying that, oh, mommy, this cup of water is not enough. Oh, this water is not, give me another pure water. You are not asking for that one. The one people who are in here, they are not asking for a pure water. They are just looking for a drop, just a drop to come to their tongue, their hooky. That is how terrible hell is. Hell is a place where you'll be feeling your body, you'll be feeling pains. The pain will be more than the pains of the head. The task will be more than the tax of the head. The hunger there will be more than the hunger of the head. Your, you see, your brain will be more than the worst man on head. Your brain will be so calculating that will be so sharp. You will remember everything you have done head head when you are in hell. The thoughts on in hell will make you to remember many things you have done. When you are in you might not be able to remember what, what, what is in the earth again. That's the truth. When you are in heaven, you might not be able to remember much of what you are in earth. You just you will not remember them. Because God will give you a rest. He will give your brain a rest. He will give your brain peace. I'm not talking to, about hell. Let, 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 let's, talk, let's talk about hell. Uh, uh, heaven, I'm not talking about heaven now. Let's talk about hell. Now, let's go back to hell. Now, in hell fire, I, I'm not talking about the heat of the fire now. Because the heat, the heat of the fire is unbearable. For example, look at the man of God I interviewed, Pastor Moses Ezekiel. We I interviewed uh, uh, not quite long, about two weeks ago, or a week, week, a week ago, when he was a, a, he was sharing. I told you that I have been in this program before. He, the Lord only allowed him to enter air and come out. I don't even think he, he used up to five minutes in hell when God came and, and took him up. But the heat of air that have entered his, his body in the spirit, whenever he's sharing the testimony of air, that testimony, when he gets to that place and he, he say it completely, the heat of air will come back to his body. The Lord allowed it to happen to him so that people will understand what it is to be in hell. I pray you will not go to hell in the mighty name of Jesus. Listen to me very well. Listen to me very well. I want you to understand what it, it is to be in hell. In hell fire, but apart from you wanted to eat, apart from you wanted to drink, there, there is a demon that is in hell himself. You know, I told you that hell himself is a demon. 
there is another, there is another demon in hell himself. Hell himself. The demon that is in hell himself. That demon are horrible demons. The de- oh God, I'm coming to that area because if I come to that area, you see, it, it will be. I, I maybe in part two we talk about that. I don't know. Maybe I will see come back to that now. I don't know, but I don't want to stay long in this program. I just want it to be one hour and the part two, I will talk about the part two of hell. In hell fire, let me tell you something. When you say hell fire is a university of tears, the person is right and the person is also wrong. You know, hell fire is not a university of tears but it's a nation of tears. It's a country of tears. You know when you say university of tears, we all know that nobody go to university and die there. When you go to university, you spend like four, five, six, or seven, eight years there, and you leave the university, you pass out, you graduate. In air fire, they don't graduate there. They don't pass out there. It's like you are born in a country and you are there, you are not dying there, you are just there. That's how it is. It's a nation of tears. A nation whereby you cry, water will not come out again. There is no friend in hell. There is no ah, ah, ah. I said, if someone is in hell for like 10 to 15 years, The person must have understand and experience the pains of hell. For example, for example, for example, for example, if somebody is in hell fire, the person must have been, you know, adapt to the punishment. That's what I'm trying to say, because that is what I think. You know, when somebody is beating you every day, you are receiving cane every day, every day, every day for like 10, 20 years, that thing will master you. So when they are beating you, you just be laughing. If you get to see that you don't begin like this, please beat more, beat more. Yeah, because everything you are doing, everything you become master. In the era of hell, there's no master. The fire become is like is renewing every day. The fire of hell is renewing every day. You do not the pain you will oh God, the pain you will pain, the pain you are going to receive in this minute. It's going to be the pain you're going to, it's different from the pain you're going to be received in next minute. It's as if, I don't know, it's automatically changing itself. God has made it that way to be automatically changing in itself. You cannot, you, in fact, it's a place of error. The question is that if somebody is in hell, that's this, there must be a break of you having uh, at least a rest. Like, uh, I'll be burning for like a, uh, one day, now let me have a rest of five minutes. Nothing like that. In effort, is a continuous pain. It's a continuous pain. In effort, there are some punishment. If I start talking to, talking to you about punishment, I don't think it's appropriate time for me to talk about punishment now. I think maybe in part two of this heaven and uh, heaven of the air fire, I will explain to you what the punishment. That punishment is the most difficult of all. I pray you, you and I will not enter hell in Jesus' name. In air fire, there's nothing like I don't master this one. In air fire, there's nothing like I, I want to eat. I've told you before. What you eat in air fire is mad God. What did I say? Mad God. Mad God. The Yoruba people call it eating. My language in Yoruba they call it eating. Mad God. This mad God is not a normal mad God you see. The mad God itself is hell. 
this man God is used to come once in a year. I know that this message might be somehow so difficult for people to believe because they will say, have you been there before? Have you, have you, have you eaten there before? How do you know that you should this and that and this? But I'm telling you the, I'm telling you the things of the spirit. I told you before that God used to speak to me, used to take me to heaven, used to, uh, used to, I used to see many encounters. I used to, he used to take me to things, the same things that you did not even know. What I'm telling you might, might be difficult for you to understand in the Bible. Because you said that where is it in the Bible? Yes. But I'm telling you the real fact of what is happening. They used to eat mad gods in hell. And this mad god they are eating is not just everyday mad god, most once in a year or once in a month or once in a week. And when you eat this mad god, you eat this mad god, this mad god is like a scorpion. When you eat it, it will start pieces in your body. I know what I'm saying you might be somewhat conflict, but let me explain to you. This my God is like a food they eat in hell. In hell. Once the, is, you are not going to be satisfied. It's like, it's, it's like you are eating something that is going to kill you. You are eating something that is going to punish you. When you just eat, like, when, when you just put your hand and eat like this, the my God will start pieces in that your body. You will start crying in pain. It will pieces your body. It's like a punishment in hell. You will not go to hell in Jesus' name. It will pieces all the intestine. It will pieces it. It will pieces it. It, 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 will, it will start, that man will start coming out of your body again, coming out again. The person will start crying in pain. Hell is not a place you will go. It's a nation whereby there is no day or night. It's ordinary night. Not like resting, not like sleeping, not like uh, I want to go and walk. I want to go and visit this person. It's a place, it's more than prison. It's a place whereby you are punished every day and night. He said day and night. It's a place whereby your teeth will be grassing. Do you know the meaning of when you say teeth grassing? It's like this. Your teeth will be grassing. Your teeth will be pissing. Your teeth will be pissing yourself. Oh God. Alpha is a place of horror. You cannot imagine going there. Now, it's just like somebody... So how can I call it now? Now, let's say that they are born like a petrol station got fire, a bond, and it was burning so seriously. The heat of that petrol station, you know, is going to be powerful. Let me say the heat of that petrol station times, times the heat of that, the heat of fire that is burning times, uh, let me say times 1,000. You know, like when they say fire is burning, you know, you cannot come near where fire is. You have to run away. Uh -huh. So the heat of L times 1,000, just an example, times 1,000. Eat, 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 eat. You know, you know, the Bible was talking about a heat, you know? They don't want to talk about, about a heat in the Bible. The heat of Nick, uh, Nick, Nick, uh, Nebuchadnezzar, the man, the king that said that he wants people to bow down for him and something like that. And he said anybody that does not bow down for the image, is going to, they are going to burn them into fire. And the, the Bible said it doubled the heat seven times. It means that heat of fire himself is doubled. It, it, know, it, has, it has level. It has grade. It has grade. So it doubled the heat seven times. That the people who wanted to throw them into fire, the heat killed them. As they were trying to train it like this, as they were putting their hand like that, the heat came up upon them and they consumed them and they all died. Now, we are not talking about this kind of heat. The heat of air fire is like a 1,000 times that several uh, eating of that fire. I don't know how to, because it's a spirit thing. So physical things cannot describe it, physical things. And it's a, a spiritual things, by the way, because it is spiritual things. But in a way that you can understand, I will tell you. Air fire is a place whereby, it's, it's a horror place. It's a way whereby you cannot feel yourself when you remember everything in hell, you, you will remember everything you have done. When you remember everything you have done, you will blame everything about you. You will tear yourself into parts there. That why do you do this? Why do you accept gospel? It's a place whereby you blame yourself for not accepting gospel. 
You blame yourself for the every action you've done on it. You blame yourself because all what you have done will now look as if you have done pass, you pass through the world for five minutes. So it will be as if why did I have to do all these things? All the memories of all the sins you have committed on earth, they we all came to you. All of it, we all came to you once. And we remember it within five minutes, you have to remember all of it. And listen to me very well. In air fire, dear, nobody go to hell without knowing what he has done. When you are in air, you will know what you are burning for. You will know what you are persecuting for. And listen to me. Let me tell you something. In air fire, it is not all about the fire of it. Or the maggots that punish alone. There, there are some other dangerous things that punish people here. Ah, I pray you will not go to hell in the mountain of Jesus. If you, if you, I don't pray you go to hell. If you mistakenly step into hell, it is better you are not born at all. At all, you are not born at all, at all, at all. Because the fire of air is so critical. Those people who are who we are preaching that they should live their life in holiness and they are finding it very difficult for them to, to live holy life, they will regret ever coming to the world. They will regret it. Oh, you see, I'm, the way I'm talking now, I'm not happy. You know why I'm not happy is because what I'm saying, I understand, but I don't know how I can, I can pour it to you in a way we understand it very more, as in very much. I don't understand how I can do it. I don't know how I, can, how I can I can just pour it to you that we understand in a very higher, higher rate, higher rate in the way you understand well and well. Air fire is a place whereby, even though you cannot pray for the wish in your father's house to go there, you cannot pray for it. It's a dangerous place that you you you, you see. Oh God, in air when you say sorry, sir. You are in problem. I'm, 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 I, will, I will go later, maybe tomorrow. I will talk about that one. Tomorrow, oh my God. If I start telling you what hell is all about, the punishment in hell, I'm telling you, you will not go back to sin again. You will run away from sin completely. Tomorrow, in heaven and hell program, we are going to. Uh, The in air is more compared to what I'm saying. It's very small compared to that one. So fire, that one, that fire is different. They are demons that welcome every sinner that came to hell. They are demons that will welcome you. Well, tomorrow I will talk about that one. <laughs> they are demons that are there, that their own punishment itself is even more than the fire. It's even more than the fire that is burning you there. That we, I will come to that area. And we are still coming to a stage whereby what will happen to that air that is even the body that is collecting people. I told you that it has body and so on like that. So for now, we're going to stop here. So tomorrow, by God's grace, make sure you are in heaven and hell life program tomorrow. Tomorrow, 9 a.m. Heaven and hell life program. I will tomorrow I will explain to details. Oh God. Oh, I will explain to details. I will explain to details the punishment in hell. I will explain it to hell. I will explain to you that you, you, will, you will have the understanding, the full understanding of the punishment in hell. If I say I should start teaching on hell alone, it will take me, but I, I'm, oh, I want to summarize it to like two days or three days. I'm talking about hell. Lake of hell is different. Lake of hell is different. So I'm just, I'm going to summarize everything like two, three days and we we'll run it up. So God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, this is Heaven and Air Life program. And the person talking to you is Apostle Peter Daniel from Nigeria, precisely in Accra on those states. Um, we used to have this Heaven and Air 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. This is after 10 right now, but uh, we just, I just have to explain it to you because uh, uh, the issue of hell is not something that people can rush it. It's a, it's a deep teaching. 
Uh, and we used to have a deliverance prayer. If you know that you are, you, you have a problem in your head, you have a demon that is tormenting you, you used to eat in the dream, or you, you used to commit sin, you used to masturbate, you have loss, you have anger, you, or, or you have, you are into, you, 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 your family is in, is in covenant of darkness. Make sure you contact me and uh, I give you, I send you the link. You will join the, you join the F and L deliverance uh, uh, group. We used to do every night. In Nigeria time it is nine, but your country, I don't know what time it's going to be. But in Nigeria time it's going to be 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. So make sure you join the program. I pray the Lord will bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. If you want to call my number, for those who is going, watching me right now, as plus 234-813-8966-287. That is my number. You can call me. You can WhatsApp me. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Once again, I, I want you that you are watching this program to prepare yourself for rapture. Prepare yourself for heaven or else you end up in hell. Don't believe all this pastor that is telling you that Trosa does not have many. It is better you, are, you, caref you carefully obey the word of God and make heaven than you accepting all this, uh, this, uh, this, 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 uh, this nonsense things that the pastors are saying all about, about, uh, about the things of God. That bringing the things of God as something that is so, you know, uh, as light. Making the word of God like enlightening that the ordinary, ordinary sinner can do. To make everyone, is, the truth is that it's not easy. It's not easy. It will have to, it will have to take it. That is why he said, he said from the days of the John the Baptist, the kingdom of God survives violence and the violence take it by force. To the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. This is heaven and hell. You can please subscribe to my channel and post Peter Daniel. Subscribe to my channel. Go to my YouTube, look for Evangelist Peter Daniel. You see that. Add me on your Facebook. God bless you in Jesus' name. Now, I, I want to, I'm going to take questions and answers for the program. Uh, I'm going to take questions and answers for the programs. So if you have any question, you can all open your microphone.